and welcome back to another video. So in the FNAF community, is kind of sort of like generally accepted that uh, Elizabeth Afton is evil, but I've never really seen anybody like explain exactly why she is evil. Um, even to the point where um, when like Matt Pat suggested that um, the uh, that Williams' uh, wife uh, was uh, uh, the Basically, the one behind, you know, pulling the strings behind the scenes of uh, security breach. People are like, actually, it's 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 uh, it's Elizabeth and baby, you know, Elizabeth slash baby. And that's pulling the strings behind the scenes, and it's and I kind of just like um, it, well, in my opinion, that kind of sort of like lacks, you know, from my opinion, that like kind of lacks understanding about the character, and some people, and some people like, especially like new people to the community, may not exactly understand that. Uh, why uh elizabeth or baby is evil um so that's what i'm gonna go through today uh why you know why i think she's evil and everything that i know that supports why uh you know i think this so uh first of all let's explain why the main animatronics are not evil so bonnie chica freddy foxy puppet and the uh, uh, I think those, uh, you've also got like Molten Freddy, but uh, he's just like um, an amalgamation of the, or the other. Anyway, so um, they're not evil because, uh, well, let's start off with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. They're not evil because, uh, as Charlotte says in Ultimate Custom Night, uh, the others are. Uh, uh, I can't remember the exact quote off the top of my head, but it's, uh, it's basically like the others are like animals, but I am, but I'm uh, well aware. So it's basically saying that um, they're you know not uh, they they've basically been reduced down to like animalistic, you know, um, animalistic, well, oh, uh, you know, instincts. They're based animalistic instincts, um, and the. the uh, that's probably due to, in my opinion, is probably due to uh, agony. Now, agony uh, is different to remnants. These are two different things. Uh, basically, remnant is soul juice, um, simply put, and agony is the pain that they feel when they die. Um, obviously, ag agony uh, helps, like, uh, at least according to one of the books, the agony helps the soul juice to like latch on to, um, you know, inanimate objects like so. In this case, animatronics. Um, and it, so we can assume that the main animatronics had a more, you know, the children who died and the, the possessed those animatronics had a more painful death than Charlotte. And the, we know Charlotte had a quick death because. In the you know in the original FNAF two uh, mini game, uh, you just see them die quite quickly, and do we also see in the uh, in the security puppets mini game that uh, uh, you know she died quite quickly and uh, possessed the puppet, so she didn't have a very painful death. So there's very little agony there. While she probably did feel pain, you know, getting stabbed isn't exactly painless. Because she died so quickly from bleeding out, um, there's not much agony there to make Charlotte more animalistic and uh, aggressive as the main animatronics. Uh, where you know the you know the children, you know they in the main animatronics, they had a more painful and slower death. Uh, probably because like William was like taking pleasure in causing them pain and the, the suffering as he killed them or something uh, um, and the, the, therefore there's more agony and that agony like you know at least what we can infer from what Charlotte, Charlotte said was like clouding their minds and become, making them become more animalistic which is why they, you know we can't really call them evil um, so that's why the animatronics kill the main animatronics kill you and in FNAF 2 at least according to map pad we're playing as uh, William Afton, so that would explain why Charlotte kills you in FNAF 2 because she's protecting the children because she knows that you're William Afton and you're the one who's uh, 
behind the disappearance of the uh, missing children. Um, now, let's take a look at Elizabeth Afton and how she died. So, uh, basically, she got, uh, um, you know, grabbed by Baby, who was designed by William Afton to kill the children. Um, so, she, she got grabbed, and then she got pulled in, and she she screamed and was, like, really scared, and she, and the like at, at Charlotte, she didn't, she died fairly quickly and didn't take you know, uh, probably didn't suffer a lot. And then after that, according to a way book, like she watched um, William uh, like fuse the metal endoskeletons from the original animatronics and make the to make the fun time, uh, you know, and then inject it into fun time Freddy to like create like an amalgamation of the souls. Um, and after the events of Sister Location. Uh, she uh, she was booted out to the like to like all like the souls and everything from like Funtime Freddy below well if below had any souls in there I think she was in there uh, and then Baby so they were all like in a big amalgamation together inside of uh, um, Michael Afton and it, uh, basically Baby was like oh I want to go like reunite with my father and help him do his thing and like and like all the other souls were like. No, let's not do that. And they basically like kicked her out, and then that became uh, Molten Freddy and the uh, Scrap Baby in um, Pizzeria Simulator. Uh, so yeah. So why I think you know uh, that the baby was evil? Well, it's because you know she she you know her death basically traumatized her. That's fairly simple to, um, you know, assume, it. like, you know, probably not a present experience, especially from, like, all the screaming you hear in, like, the uh, sister location minigame that where she got, got. um, and the, the uh, that, uh, uh, combined with the fact that she died, uh, not, su not super quickly, but, uh, you know, Slow enough to suffer, but not so slow that to the build-up of agony caused it to become animalistic, like the main five. But she, but that uh, uh, agony in there is uh, like uh, uh, so it's lower than like the main five, but yeah, main five, but it's still enough to like cause her to like, um, you know, revert to uh, some like primal animalistic instinct and the, the bear man is a child the soul of a child in there so what you know children you know what do they do when they're like scared and they're in pain they go to their parents they trust their parents and the, so that's why she wants that's why baby wants to help her father because you know it's the agony inside of her causing her causing her to to just like revere back to just like oh parent to keep keep me safe safe and that's why i believe she wants to help after that uh after she you know got uh, when she was possessing baby but i believe that she was uh brought back in a new body without the ex uh, without the agony slightly so crying child uh was brought back into gregory um, without the ex, without that um, agony making her wanna basically stay with her father for like protection, I don't think she would be evil because I think without that you know without that agony she'd be able to think more clearly and be like, wait a minute, my father's kind of an evil guy. I I, I probably shouldn't be helping him. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's just my opinion, that well, theory, <laughs> based on, like, what I know about the FNAF franchise, what I know about Remnant, Agony, and, uh, um, and, uh, you know, the uh, characters themselves and everything. Uh, I'm pr in my opinion, this is pretty solid, and, uh, and uh, I wouldn't... Uh, and, uh, you know, I've 
Well, obviously, if I didn't think it was solid, I wouldn't be putting it out here. I would think it will. I'd probably be doing more research. But I think this is, yeah, I think this, I think this is solid. Uh, I think this does explain, uh, you know, more about uh, uh, Elizabeth slash baby and why she do, you know, does what she does. Uh, but um, if I've missed something, feel free to like put it down in the comment section. It's like, oh, you missed this from this book because I've I've not read the books. I just know, um, I just know stuff from the books. I've seen like videos from like Matt Pat and. Uh, uh, and stuff, so it's just like, how I miss up? I might not know something that's in the books because I don't really like reading. Um, but yeah, um, if you, you know, if you know something I don't, again, feel free to post it down in the comment section below. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye.